Frequently, multiple gases will be present in the specified volume. To account for this, we will employ Dalton's law, which states that the pressure exerted by a mixture of ideal gases is the sum of the pressures that each gas would exert if we were alone in the container at the same temperature. This means that we can use the mole fraction times the total pressure in that volume to determine the partial pressure of the specified gas. The figure on this slide is what Dalton's law would look like visualized. This example has a volume with three gases in it. The total pressure of this chamber is the same as the sum of the pressures of the three gases if they were separated into three separate containers with the same volume. Dalton's law is a concept that we will frequently use in this course. So now that we've defined Dalton's law, let's now apply it to a simple example that relates to the real world. We have these two problems, where the first one is calculate the mole fractions of N2, O2, and argon in dry air at sea level, given that 100 grams of air consists of 75.5 grams of nitrogen, 23.2 grams of oxygen, and 1.3 grams of argon. And then based on those answers, meaning based on the mole fractions of those three constituents of dry air, where they're going to calculate what is the partial pressure of each of those constituents if the total pressure is 100 kilopascals. So let's start with the first point, which is calculate the mole fraction of each of these constituents. So the first thing we need to determine for the nitrogen, the oxygen, and the argon is the number of moles that each of those masses corresponds to. So the moles of N2, well that's equal to 75.5 grams divided by the molar mass, so one mole of N2 is equal to 28.02 grams of N2, and that equals 2.69 moles. The moles of O2, well we have 23.2 grams of O2 divided by the molar mass, one mole of O2 divided by 32.00 grams of O2, and that's equal to 0 0.725 moles of O2. And then finally for argon, the moles of argon, well that's equal to 1.3 grams of argon, divide that by the molar mass, one mole of argon, 39.95 grams of argon, and that's equal to 0 0.033 moles of argon. And so then to determine now the mole fraction, we need to know what is the total moles that, are exist, or that exist in this sample of gas. And so that's just the summation of these three pieces. So if I add the 2.69 plus 0 0.725 plus 0 0.033, then the total moles is going to be equal to 3.448. Now to calculate the mole fraction, all we need to do is just take any one of these individual numbers, so in this case we've got the 2.69 moles of N2, and we're just going to divide it by the total number of moles, the 3.448, and we do that for each of these cases. So that means the mole fraction of N2 is just simply equal to 2.69 divided by 3.448, and so that's equal to 0 0.78. The mole fraction of O2, well that's equal to 0 0.725 divided by 3.448, and that's equal to 0 0.21. And finally, the mole fraction of argon that's equal to 0 0.033 divided by 3.448, and that's equal to 0 0.010. So that answers question one. So now let's tackle problem number two. Number two is just if the atmosphere is 100 kilopascals, or if the pressure of all three gases combined is 100 kilopascals, what is the partial pressure of each of the constituents? Well, we already saw on the previous slide that if we multiply the mole fraction of one of the constituents by the total pressure, then what we end up with is the partial pressure of that constituent. 
And so I've written this in the context of nitrogen, but I'm going to just replicate this for the other two gases. But in this case, we already know the mole fraction of nitrogen is 0 0.78. The total pressure is 100 kilopascals. And so what that gives me is then the partial pressure of the nitrogen gas in this sample. And so that means then the partial pressure of nitrogen is equal to 78 kilopascals. I do the same thing for oxygen. So the partial pressure of oxygen is equal to the mole fraction of oxygen times the total pressure. That means then I'm going to multiply 0 0.21 times 100. So that means the partial pressure of oxygen is equal to 21 kilopascals. And finally, the partial pressure of argon is equal to the mole fraction of argon times the total pressure. That means that I'm going to multiply 0 0.010 times 100. And that means then the partial pressure of argon is equal to 1 kilopascal.